All right, position vectors. So if we had a position vector, which is denoted as R, and that is defined as a fixed vector which locates a point in space relative to another point. All right, so if we have our three-dimensional system, y, x, z. All right, and if we had a vector x in the i direction, y in the j direction, and z in the k direction. All right, so if we had a point P at X, Y, Z, we would draw it like so. Okay, so there's um, the vector in the X, Y, and then add the Z component to it. We'll get that the points about right there. So now we can draw our vector P. P at location X, Y, Z. So that our position vector from O, the origin, to P could be written as R equal to X in the I direction plus Y in the J plus Z in the K. All right, and this becomes really useful when you're looking between two points that aren't the origin. Um, where one of the points is not the origin. So let's show it like this. So x, y, z. If you had a vector r, a, and another position vector r, b, and then connecting the two vectors, you'd have r. So we know from vector addition that R A plus R is equal to R B. And we can rearrange this equation so that we can get R by itself. So the position vector R is equal to R B minus R A. So if the tip of R B had the points X B, Y B, and ZB, and the tip of point A had XA, YA, ZA, we could find the coordinates of R. So if we take this into its um, Cartesian coordinates, we'd get that R is equal to XBI plus YBJ plus ZBK minus x a i um, plus y a j plus z a k. Now put, putting the i's, j's, and k's components together, you can get that r is equal to x b minus x a in the i direction plus y b minus y a in the j direction plus um, ZB minus ZA in the K direction. So now we can use this basically with any two points given. So if you're given um, a point like this and a point like this, you can find the position vector just by using this simple equation. Now this can also be used to determine a force vector directed along a line.
So if we had a force vector F, and we know that F is equal to the magnitude of F times the direction. Now this direction can also be expressed by a position vector divided by the magnitude of its position vector so that it can turn into a unit vector, just like you. So we know that R is equal to xb minus xa i plus yb minus yaj plus zb minus zak. And now we want to divide it by the magnitude. So we're going to square root it. And we'll get xb minus xa squared plus yb minus ya squared plus zb minus za squared. And now you have a unit vector. So <clears throat> r as a vector divided by its magnitude is going to give you your u. So f has um, units of force. where R will have units of length. And if you divide it by its magnitude, then you get U, which is unitless. An example is to follow.